Greetings Subnautican. If you've never explored mods for Subnautica, you might feel somewhat unsure of how it's done, whether it will cause issues or heaven forbid it being so difficult as to keep you away. Fortunately, it's actually surprisingly simple, especially as a whole bunch of them use the Cube Mod Manager which makes the install process very similar for many of them. As always, make sure you take a backup of your saves just in case something goes wrong and it ruins it. So today we're going through how to install the QMod Manager as well as the modding helper library for QMods which some mods use. Credits go to Quizzo for the QMod Manager and Ankh1221 for the modding helper library. I will leave links in the description for easy access. Of course, if you enjoyed the quick guide, do subscribe and leave me a like, it's free. Now the first thing you do is you go to the mod page and this is all hosted on the nexusmods.com. And this is the cube mod manager that we're going to go through and install for the first thing. So the first thing you do then is to you hit the download and it'll go to the download page. Now just to let you know that sometimes the mods are large enough that it requires you to have an account on Nexus Mods. But you can register for a free account for that. But once you get to that you basically save file and you get it down on your PC. Once it's done you hit setup and you run it. And we are here in the QMod setup wizard and we're going to hit next and it pops up a screen that allows you to choose where the Subnautica install folder is. Normally this defaults to the correct location. If it's not then just browse and find it. Now we're going to take note of this location. I'm going to do copy because we're going to need to browse here in a little while when we install the modding helper library. We're just going to hit next here and install. And that's going to install it and it's going to be finished. And easy as that, we've installed the cube mod manager. So now we're going to install the modding helper, which is the next link in the description. So we'll go to the web webpage and we'll go to download. Now this is basically a raw file download. It's not an install program, so it's slightly different. Now we're going to open it up here and you see it's basically a raw file. So if you have WinRAR or I'm using 7-zip, each one works. Now and this is where we actually need the location of the install of your Subnautica because we need to drop it into the same location. So you basically mark it and you pull it in. And it's going to, uh, let's replace them to make sure it's updated. And then we'll go in here and you see it's got the modding helper. And this is the library itself. And now that one is done as well. Wasn't so hard was it? Now if you want to uninstall the library, you just delete the folder. If you want to uninstall QMod Manager, you go to Add and Remove Programs in Windows and you can uninstall it there. But I'm going to leave it for now. Now go look for some cool mods and go ahead and install and try them out. I have some quick guides on my channel for other mods and I will be adding more as I go along. If there's any particular mod you'd like me to cover in the video, let me know in the comment section below. Or maybe you just have some views on modding for Subnautica. Do discuss and happy swimming. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link below.